All right, you little fifth graders, let's practice division of whole numbers when you have a two-digit divisor. Remember the steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Then you repeat if you have to, and usually you will. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Now, the first problem I am going to do for you. And here's the problem. 2,394 divided by 38. Now, if I were to put that into a division problem, it would look like this. The divisor, the dividend. The dividend goes inside. The divisor on the outside and your answer will be your quotient, you may or may not have a remainder. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to find the facts of 38. I already did that for you. But you are going to be doing that on your own. You take your divisor and find all your facts. Times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Find all the facts because this is what you're going to use to solve the problem. Make sure these are correct, because if any of these are wrong, quite possibly, well, if you use it, your answer will definitely be wrong. So, let's divide. Now that we have all of our tools to use, let's divide this problem. Your first step is to divide. Can 38 go into 2? No. Can 38 go into 23? No. Can 38 go into 239? Yes, indeed. How many times? we got to figure out how close we can get without going over. As you see, 190 is getting close. 228 is very close. 266 goes over. So we got to back up one. So 38 times 6 is what I need to use. I'm going to put the 6 over the 9. Because I'm dividing into 239. 6 times 38 is 280. I'm sorry, 228. Now I'll subtract. 9 minus 8 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. I'm just going to leave that blank. Now my next step is to bring down. Now, 38. Dividing into 114. Let's see how close we can get. There's 114 right there. Perfect. Three times. Three times 38 is 114. I'll subtract 114 minus 114 is zero. There's nothing else to bring down. My quotient is 63. That was an easy one. No problem whatsoever. No remainder. This means no remainder. If there was a remainder, I'd put it up here, 63 remainder something. But you don't have to put remainder zero, just 63, just the quotient. All right, the next problem. You're going to do this one. 4,934 divided by 55. Now, when you put it in the division problem, it's going to look like this. Dividend inside, quotient on the outside. But the first thing I want you to do is find your facts for 55. Do that on your paper right now. Pause the video. All right. Let's see how bad, I mean good, you did. 50 times, 51, 55 times 1. 55 times 2, 110. Times 3, 165. Times 4, 220. Times 5, 275. Times 6, 330. Times 7, 385. Times 8, 440. Times 9, 495. 
truth shall set you free. Now we have all the tools we need <clears throat> to solve this problem. So now, solve this problem, 4,934 divide, divided by 55. Pause the video. All right, let's see how bad you did. I mean, how good you did. All right, 55, can it go into 40? No. Can it go into 49? No. Can it go into 493? Yes, it can. How many times without going over? Let's see. We got to get up to the 400 or 300 at least. Here's 385. 440, we're getting closer. 495 is close, but the only problem is it went over. So we got to back up eight times. I'm going to put the eight over the three. Eight times 55 is 440. Now we subtract. Three minus zero is three. Nine minus four is five. Four minus four is zero. I have to bring down. Now, 55. It goes into 534. How many times without going over? We know 8 is 440. 9 is 495. So we got to go with 9. 9 times 55, 495. And I must subtract again. 4 minus 5, I can't do it. I have to borrow. The 3 becomes a 2. The 4 becomes a 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. I can't subtract 2 minus 9. That becomes a 4. The 2 becomes a 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. Nothing left to bring down. This one does have a remainder. Our quotient is 89. Remainder, 39. And there you have it. This one did have a remainder. Hopefully, that's the answer you got. If it is not the answer, go back and see what you did wrong. I worked it out perfectly. Maybe you got some of these wrong down here. Eight and nine are the ones we needed to use. Maybe you got these wrong. Maybe you subtracted wrong somewhere. Figure out your mistake. Figure out what you're doing wrong so that you won't get the graded assignment wrong. Because that's when it really count. Again, the steps are divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, get to 